Hey guys, it's Sensibility here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Amber Marie. And of course, guys, my channel's all about perfumery. Guys, this is part two of the generic perfume oils that I got in. I, these do come from Generic Perfumes Premium line, which these have to be purchased individually. And you can purchase them in various sizes from 5 mLs up. You can also purchase these in sprays if you are not comfortable with a perfume oil or turning them into a perfume spray from an oil. They have everything you need that way you can make memories with their fragrances. If you have not checked out their Facebook page, guys, hop over to Facebook. Everybody and their mom's got a Facebook. I absolutely love their Facebook page because it shows all the new releases. Um, I get to hear other people's feedback on which ones they loved. Um, and then, of course, I signed up for their email. So I get promo codes in, the, in their email. I don't get bogged down by them, but if you're definitely going to start getting into generic perfumes and purchasing oils, or you already have, it's a great way to save money a couple times throughout the year. They have promo codes that they throw out in the emails for everybody. Kind of like a thank you for purchasing from them. And then guys, if you spend over a certain dollar amount, you get freebies. What company gives you freebies? So today, I spent well over that, so again, seems like every time I order from them. These are the small oil samples. They do change all the time. So if you ordered one month and you go back and you order another month, you're going to get different samples. You're not going to get the same ones as the previous month. So that's really cool. You can continuously try out new fragrances. So with that said, guys, let's go ahead and get into this video, and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on these fragrances. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first one is called Amber Room, and see, it is a double plus plus, and this one is by Bayeen. Oh, this Amber, Amber Room smells really good. It's definitely an ambery scent. Again, it reminds me of Blessed Baraka. But it's not as bombastic as Bless Baraka. But this one is still a very gorgeous amber. If you don't like how strong and in your face the Bless Baraka is, you're definitely going to like Amber Room by Bayin. The next one that I have is called Sweet Redemption, and this one is by Ghetto Killian. And unfortunately, I don't like Sweet Redemption. There's something strange and odd about it. The next one is called White Fire by Tetra Terrazzini. Okay, this one's a nice one. Kind of smells like it's florally. Definitely spring. Definitely spring, but you could still wear this in the summertime. Um, it's your traditional white floral fragrance. Um, it's not as strong as like Gucci Bloom or Bigger, so it doesn't have a very big white floral cloud. The next one is Beach Hut Woman. This one is in A+. And this one is by Emma Wash. <clears throat> so this one isn't bad, but it's odd. And it's different. So this one's definitely going to be a like for me. Okay, the next one is called Ballerina. This one is the A++. And um, I feel like this is more seek. Oh. That one's gorgeous. This is really pretty. It is very feminine. Um, I feel like this is for the younger girls. This would be like 20s, early 30s. Um, doesn't really have a... This is more of a fun, playful type approach. Not a very mature, vintage type fragrance. Um, think of a ballerina. She's very graceful and flowy and... But, the name definitely suits it. So the next one that I have here is Soye Blanc. For some reason, everybody has been on a jam with this one. And this one is by Top 4. This one is definitely the summertime. I believe the other one is. I think this one's more of your daytime. <clears throat> it's definitely coconutty. Mmm. Has a little bit of a tanning lotion vibe to it. The most note that I'm smelling out of this right now is definitely 
coconut. Next one is a Rouge Trafalgar, and this one is supposed to be a fruity one by Dior. It's good. It has just the right amount of fruitiness to it, but it definitely leans feminine. Um, not a, a beastly fragrance neither. It's definitely moderate, work appropriate. Um, you would definitely get compliments with it, but... Uh, the next one is from the House of Oud, and it is called Blessing Silence. Okay, so this one's definitely going to have a wow factor. There's something popping out of there that I have not smelled before. I said I'm going to dub it as a fall, winter. Um, definitely worth getting. Okay, the next one is the Moon of Baroda. Baroda. And this one is by Thayim. This one is... Mmm, this one's sexy. This one definitely smells more masculine than feminine. I feel like it's got a little bit of a freshness to it. But then there's the oud there. Oh, that one's good. Um, definitely thumbs up for the Moon of Baroda. Okay, the next one is called Al, Al Lindy. And this one is by Zerjoff. Zerjoff. It's different. It's odd. This would not be a blind buy. The next one is New York Fifth Avenue. I feel like this one has like a cozy vibe to it. It's definitely it smells like it has a tad bit of oud in there. Kind of animalic. Definitely smells masculine. Definitely uh, fall, winter. The next one is called Lintz by Tetrazzini. Terrazzini. Smells kind of clean. Kind of masculine. Yeah, that one's kind of smelling more like a summertime type fragrance. The next one is The Moon and I, and this is by Floruco, the brand that bases their titles off of Hakus. This is another one that smells pretty. It's likable. If you love uh, Floruco. Moving on to the next one. Okay, this is the Solier Nosh, and this one's by Tom Ford. Or I can smell more floral in this one. So if you're looking for a summertime fragrance and you're wanting more on the floral side, go with the Soye Nage by Tom Ford. The next one is by Memo Paris. And this one's called Marf. Pretty, I love it. Um, Marf is definitely springy going into summertime. It's definitely got the floral thing going on there. The next one is by Zerjoff, and this one is called Kind of Blue. Yeah, this one's good. I like it. Has a little bit of a sweetness to it. Oh, this one's a well blended one. It's, the next one is called uh, Atlantide, and this one is by Tetrazzini Terrazzini. Okay, found a wild one. Here's a composition I haven't smelled before. Ooh, this one will knock you on your butt, but it's so good. Anyway, so we're moving on to Amabile by Zerjoff. Ooh, this one's pretty. I am liking this one. This one is yummy. I think I'm smelling fruits in this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, this one's eatable. The next one is Interlude 53 by Amouage. Mmm, this one's good too. Might be picking up on leather or suede. The next one is Secretions. Secretions Magnifique by, this one's by Estate or Etate something orange. Honestly, it's kind of, it's kind of bland. Yeah, it's all right. I like it. Um, you could probably skip past that one. Okay, here's the next one that my husband has totally fallen in love with. And the one that he favors the most is, it's called the Aventus Batch. And this one is just the Aventus Men. So I believe this one is from the niche or designer categories. I think uh, I really, really love the smell. The... Um, the start or the initial first 30 minutes of Creed Aventus. 
and then it totally turns manly and then it's like nope don't like it as far as for myself um overall i think creed event it's a gorgeous gorgeous fragrance and if you can get a hold of the the aventus batch it's even better than this the uh i guess the reformulated one the next one is angelique oh i think this is by victorious bodicea okay this one's all right if you like the bodiceas then you will like this one the next one is by roman mongel but this one's called dubai next to me okay this one smells uh hmm kind of manly it's good though okay i'm smelling some citruses uh, i don't see the ladies liking this too well not super fresh but it's also not super clean um it has some character to it kind of inventacy but not really like they share some of the notes. I have another one from a Fragrance Dubois and this one is called a Petals de Cashmere. And guys, it definitely has the softness like a ca uh, cashmere scent goes, but it's soft, it's very feminine. This one's definitely work appropriate, fall, winter, but honestly could be a year round fragrance. This one is Sol de Potassium. And this one's by Tom Ford. I was expecting to really smell a pistachio and I smell like a clean, fresh smell. Aventus. Okay, so the next one is Here de Absence. And this one's by Louis Vuitton. Oh, I like it. It's pretty, but it's pretty. It's something I would totally wear. Um, it's a safe blind buy. This, there is some kind of mysteriousness to it, like it's trying to portray something in the notes. Okay, the next one is by um, Atelier de Ors, and this is Abu Abi Rubis. Mmm, mm, that one smells good really really pretty the, the last one was actually supposed to be um Rocco I think that's what it was called it was supposed to be from Merchant Venus and I got the Roque Rococo Mag Magnolia from Christian Clive this is still a really good one uh, just a pr very pretty springy uh no-brainer grab and go type floral she is in all her broken glory this is the one that I've been smelling literally in both of the videos and it's made it really hard for me to pick up on the other notes but here we go Cor Corallo this one's actually very very pretty it's very feminine and it's very powdery she used to love to wear that stuff called baby soft that baby powder type smell it's absolutely gorgeous and we have been serenaded with this fragrance all night long there you go guys that is officially all 60 of the fragrances and hopefully i've been able to help you find some new fragrances that you're thinking about or wanting to purchase from generic perfumes so with that said guys you have an awesome day and as always guys happy perfume shopping